The labrum is a cartilage ring in the hip ball and socket joint that seals the ball into the socket. When there's a tear in your labrum, the fluid that lubricates that system leaks through the tear and the pressure across the whole system goes up. As a result, the patient in the short term feels pain and in the long term may be at risk for development of progressive arthritic change within the joint. Typically when patients present to my office with a labral tear, they complain of sharp pain localized to the groin during deep hip flexion in which you would pull your knee to your chest or twisting and pivoting motions. Typically we initiate treatment for labral tears of the hip conservatively. We will often allow the patient to have a period of rest or activity modification to see if the symptoms improve. We will try uh, treatment with oral anti-inflammatory medications. Uh, often a course of physical therapy may be helpful. Finally, injections into the joint are often attempted prior to consideration of surgery. In the case that the patient opts to ultimately proceed with surgery, there are two main goals. The first of which is to fix the labral tear itself, and the second being to address the bony anatomy or bony abnormalities that may have resulted in the tear in the first place. I do this surgery arthroscopically through three small incisions in which I minimally invasively enter the hip with a camera and repair the labrum back to the socket where it's torn off. Secondly, then often the surgery is associated with a process in which I correct the shape of the bones under x-ray guidance. Although considered major surgery, hip arthroscopy is an outpatient surgery in which the patient is discharged home the same day. My patients begin physical therapy on the first day after surgery. They are immediately allowed to put weight on the surgical extremity with the assistance of crutches, and often I have immobilized them in a brace around their hip for additional support. 